Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance. And today, we're doing something a little bit different. I got sent a request on Instagram by a chap called Ansh Harsh. I'm sorry if I've said your name wrong, but I'm not entirely sure how to say it. So sometimes I'll say it wrong, sometimes I won't. But it's Ansh Harsh, and he said, I've got this really nice seed that I would like to build a really nice thing on. Uh, but he's not sure how to make the house on this really nice seed. And so what I thought I'd do is, he sent me the seed and the coordinates, and I've come and I'm gonna see if I can build a house. Completely make it up as I go along. Yes, it's another make it up video, alert, alert. But I'm gonna try and make up a bit of a house, not a big house, just a medium sized house in the seed that he wants. And the seed is here. Seed is in the description below and the coordinates are also in the description below. So if you wanted to come and have a pop, why don't you come and have a pop yourself? But this is the area that he wants to uh, build in. This is the, the little island. He's done a really nice job of it. And I'm not entirely sure if he wants a house on the island or if he wants it, because he was sort of facing, when he sent me a picture, he was sort of facing out that way. So I'm not entirely sure what it is he's after. So I've kind of got to make it up as I go along. But what I thought would be quite nice is to do something around about here because this little lagoon area is good i like that that could be used for all sorts of stuffs you've got here your little kind of it's not a swampy biome per se but quite a nice little area that you could do something with here and i just think this could be quite a nice place for a house so we're gonna have a crack at it shall we get on with it i think we should so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to get the area ready because i want to keep this big tree here but I think these little trees are going to be in the way. So I'm going to get rid of those trees like that. I know it's dead easy and creative, isn't it? If you're in survival, this isn't so difficult either. Just grab yourself a axe and get yourself chopping. And I'm going to get rid of this tree too, because I think these trees are in the way for what it is we're going to try and achieve. And this one... Oh, there we go. Right, so we got rid of those trees. And what I'm also going to do, I think is I'm gonna get rid of this tree because um, I think that might also be in the way and this one as well. So that ought to do for the tree clearage, I think. Because yeah, that's about right, I reckon. I'm also gonna get rid of this layer of dirt. I reckon I'm gonna need that and what else am I going to do? I'm going to replace some of this sand with dirt as well, I think, because um, I think it's it's too much sand for what it is I want to achieve here. So we're going to come up here and we're going to change some of this sand out for dirt. And terraforming is a part of building, as I'm sure you're aware. Let's get rid of those. Um, in fact, let's get rid of this layer completely, at least for this section like this, let's get rid of that, which means that we need to get rid of some of this sand here too, like that, um, yeah, and then I'm just going to get rid of some of this also, before we get cracking, so I just need a decent amount of space upon which to build, so let's get rid of you, there we go. How's that? So let me look at that from a distance. That looks better. So now let's just replace some of this sand with dirt. So as we've got a decent base upon which to sit. Um, we also really need to get rid of some of these flowers. Now I find the quickest way to get rid of flowers is to slap a water bucket in. That works really quite well. It washes away the flowers, and then you can just get rid of the water like that. Just get rid of these leaves. They're taking too long to rot down. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we've got we've got an all, all right platform there. I think let's just get rid of these bits here. We can then build this platform out a little bit further using some more dirt like that. Go away, chicken. You're in the way. And I think that will probably do. Let's get rid of these bits on the platform. We don't want those. Uh, 
and I reckon that is not too bad. It's not a huge platform, but that's all right. We don't actually need it to be a huge platform. We're going to utilize a little bit the um, cliff face, and I might come out a little bit over the water just because it might look quite nice. Um, anyway, we're going to make it up as we go along. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all of this junk that we've got at the moment. And I'm going to start to tool myself up with some nice materials. And I'll be back when I've done that. Right, I've still not got a proper vision for this as yet. But so what we're going to do is we're going to start small and then go big or bigger anyway. So I'm going to come in just a little bit from the edge here. And I'm going to come up one, two, three, four. And come across nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then on there, so that should be 11 apart. Should be nine gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's a gap of nine. So come up one, two, and three. Then we're gonna have another gap. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'll notice we're going up, which is fine. Seven, eight, nine. And then we're just gonna put one there. So that means that we're gonna take all of this bit out. And we're gonna have to change this from sand because we're not gonna want this to be sand at all. So if we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's that way. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, so that should be a square. So yeah, we've got ourselves a bit of a square. So we need to terraform this out a little bit more because we don't want this sand to be, well, sand. We need to do something else with it. So I'm just gonna take this out. Obviously means that we need to work out what we're gonna do with the the rest of the mountainy side bit here uh, because I do actually want to use that in some way as well just to make something a little bit interesting so I might come back to that in a bit so we've got a fairly decent sized frame there I think that looks all right um, I'm going to come up one more actually I'm going to make it five not four I'm going to come here, here and here. And yes, it's very square and boxy at the moment. But I don't mind that so much uh, because I think it's going to work for us. Then we're going to put one all the way across. So that's kind of six up from the ground all the way across like that to make our frame. There. Come across this way. There. And one more coming across this way like that okay so we've got a nice frame there and what I'm going to start to do I'm going to start to build along on the inside of this frame we need to decide where is the front door now logically you're not going to have your front door poking out to the water you're not going to have your front door poking into a mountain that's more water so therefore your front door is here right that's just natural so what we're going to get we're just going to get a door um, let's go for oak door and I'm just going to pull out all the way inside here a square just to remove the floor for now um, because I don't want a dirt floor inside the house I want to do something with it so we're going to just get rid of all of this dirt and the rogue sand that we have here coming around this is a nice seed I like it very much um, and then we're going to get some red terracotta. It doesn't have to be red terracotta. I'm just going to use it as a floor because it differentiates really, really well against that oak wood. Um, it makes for a really, really nice and different feel inside. It doesn't darken it up, which is a bit of a surprise because you'd have thought red terracotta would, but it doesn't darken it up at all. And it complements both wood and stone, in my personal opinion. So that's why we're using red terracotta. It looks good for a floor, a bit of a carpet. What can I tell you? And once I've got this done, we're going to build up just a little bit of uh, wall just to get a feel for where we're going to be there, there and there so that's going to be our front door there so we can make it a front door by sticking that like that right so then what we're going to do is when you get our first row of stone bricks mm, have I done wrong here I think I have right ignore that I'm going to stick that back up like that so we're going to get our first row of stone bricks there just inside from the uh, uh, from the wood planks. I'm gonna have an offset front door, I think, rather than being bang in the middle. I always do them in the middle. I think I'm gonna do them just a little bit offset. And we're gonna come all the way around. I'm gonna have a back door that's just to the side of this. Uh, you know what, I might have it that side, I think, yep. And 
then I'm going to come around like that. Okay, so that's going to act as our uh, kind of frame for our house. Let's stick that like that. Okay. Um, but now we need to kind of think, okay, so how are we going to build the structure of this house? How is it going to look interesting in this area? I mean, we don't just want to have a square house stuck on an island. That's not a lot of fun. We want to have something that's going to, I guess, drag it into the island. And I've got some thoughts that are starting to form now. It doesn't involve any of this sand on this side of this hill, but it might just work and it might just incorporate this area here too. Um, but those thoughts are just forming. In the meantime, I'm just going to carry on doing the walls around here. So I need to let's get rid of that. Now I'm going to use a combination of stones just to give us uh, a nice and decent feel. So I'm going to put cobble there. I'm going to leave that as a gap. Cobble there. Cobble there. Cobble there, I think. I'm going to put some smooth stone there. I think I'm just going to kind of randomly start to place some stone because I want this to have some stone walls. Uh, let's put that there. Some cobble there and there. Um, how are we going to do this? Right. I'm just going to get... And I've recently discovered that not only does the palette of smooth stone, brick and cobble work, if you bring in a little bit of andesite as well, it really works really, really quite nicely. And what you can just do is just replace every now and again just a different... Uh, block like this to give yourself a nice smooth finish. No, I don't want a door, I want andesite. And then get some smooth stone, maybe stick a bit of smooth stone in there. Got plenty of smooth stone over that side, then we put that like that. That can be cobble, that can, no that's not cobble is it, for goodness sake. That can be cobble, that can be cobble. We can stick brick in there, and that could be cobble. And you can see what I'm trying to achieve. Now we are going to remove some of these fairly shortly actually um, because we don't want this just to be like solid wall. We want to have ourselves uh, a little bit of differentiation and also we want to put some windows in. So I'm going to take some of these out in a minute. Um, I've just not decided where yet. So, so I'm literally making this up as I go along. We're going to put that like that. Let's get a bit of cobble in there and there and there just kind of randomly build it up just by feel the way you think it ought to look so if I stick a bit there and a site in there and there perhaps we can get some more stone bricks in as well like that and I'm just going to carry on doing this all the way around until I've got something that I like the look of and once I like the look of it I can then start to decide how I'm going to expand upon it um, let's get stone bricks like that. Okay, so if I just take a look from a distance, now obviously this isn't nearly finished, but you can see it makes for a nice texture. That's too much cobble right there, so let's change that for stone. That's better. Um, you can see we're getting quite a nice texture. I'm also going to bring some cobblestone stairs to come over the top of this door, just to give it a little bit more texture. And I think I'm going to do the same around the back here as well. A little bit, oh, no, the right way around though. There we go. A little bit more texture like that and now we can have a look at where we want to put our windows um, and I think looking at the build it loans itself fairly clearly to have a window there definitely um, this oh look I've got two gaps there I've got a gap how that work right so stick that like that I think yeah I'm, I'm happy with that and we're gonna have perhaps a window there with a separation and a window there with another separation and on this side, we're just gonna have a window there. So we've got plenty of light coming in there and light coming in there. So you can see we've got quite a nice looking wall, but I need to decide what bit I'm gonna do next. So we've made a slightly more detailed stone box and we've underpinned it here with some stairs, put some stair steps in upside down, right way around. It's starting to take a little bit more shape, but it's still not right. I'm still not entirely happy with it, but we are at least getting there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just to start to put a little bit of a roof on it. Now, this won't necessarily be the completed product, but it will be at least a start. So what we're going to try and do is we're just going to build a relatively normal um, roof, but not a, just a straight A. We're going to go a little bit more interesting than just a straight A. Where's my cobblestone? There's my cobblestone. Um, by 
putting a little bit more interest into it by making it you know just that little bit bigger so we're going to stick a cobble on there we get that there and then an upside down step on either side like that and then we're going to get another square so this isn't too complicated but we're just making the gable end just a little bit more I guess you could say a little bit more crafty a little bit more interesting by giving it more height without making it look like there's too many straight lines and it, it makes for a, a more stretched A shape and these shapes are actually really pleasant on the eye if uh, you look once we've done it you can see it makes for a really great um, design and it also means that you get absolutely stacks of room in the top of your house and if you've got lots of room in the top of your house then you can do all sorts of stuff with it so we're going to go there 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 and there and we're going to come there like that and there like that okay so that is the shape of the roof so you can see it looks quite tall and the reason that we went so high with these walls is to offset the tallness of this particular part of the building because it is quite tall you can see that so we're just going to match this on the other side and again the way we're going to do it is we're going to come to the side here come out one because you want an overlap come to the side here come out one because you want an overlap and then again just in a symmetrical pattern come along and create this nice shape that is a bit like an A gable but has got lots more um, character on it so I'll be back once I finish that so we've got two really quite nice gable ends there we've placed a block just a, a standard block here like that and then on the back of that we've got an upside down step and it makes for an overhang and we've just started to edge it out with a little bit of spruce wood stairs because that's the shape that we're going to be um, starting to grow up now and we need where's the spruce wood block there it is right so we need basically to match up whatever block we used for the gable end is the block that we need to use for the roof so we're going to come along here and we're going to build the roof on both sides matching these blocks up so that it follows really nicely but on this side here we need to start to think about bringing out a, a bit of a dormer a dormer window style thing and this is also going to be cobblestone edge and i want it to be fairly big now remember we've gotten is it nine one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven gap not nine gap at all eleven gap so we're going to make a, a really fairly decent sized dormer um kind of gap area there and start to build it up now i don't want this to be an expanded a like the last one was we're just going to make it a normal straight up and down um, it's plenty big enough to do it this way if you do it with this kind of up and down style where you've got a stretched a it's just not going to work you just want it to look a little bit like that so now you've got that sized um, gable and i think that works really quite well and then we stick a block on there and that comes out like that so we've got a bit that comes out that's beautiful and then what we're going to do is we're going to just continue to build up this roof using the um the, the wooden block because it's wood that we're looking to use i'm not going to be matching the inside so we're not going to be putting stuff like that because we need to do something with those a little later and then we come in with these blocks so as we come far enough to be behind um this cobblestone but not out past that cobblestone if that makes sense so coming up oh not there one two and three it doesn't come past the cobblestone and on this side obviously we've got a whole set of stairs that we can come the entire length of then we're going to get the planks and just bring them up like that that's perfect right so we're going to continue to do that until we've got a nice looking roof so i'll be back when i've done that so that's the roofs all complete you can see we've got a little dormer side coming out like that and because we've got such a steep um, angle on our gable there it's only ever so slightly coming out and i really like the effect that does there now all i need to do is just finish off along the top not there finish off the long top with a row of cobblestone slab like that that finishes off the ridge really quite nicely and then inside we just want to build a floor and the floor we want to build is going to be kind of level it needs to be on the top of these 
um, wooden slabs. If it's on the top, then anything we build on top of it will be on the floor rather than it actually being um, kind of dangling in the air. So we're just going to put just a row around, all the way around this outside. It also gives us the effect that, see, then underneath here, we can put stuff and it can be accessible. So, for example, we could put chests in this recess and it would be really, they'd be really quite happy. They'd open and shut very, very nicely because there is a half slab above it, which isn't going to block it off at all. Then at the back here, just along this edge here, I want to put it's a bit like an outer terrace or like a, um, a, a platform. How far out do we want to go? Um, do we want to come out one more or is that enough, I wonder? I think that's probably enough. We don't need any more than that. So let's get some fence. Now what we are going to need to do is on the corner of there and of there, we're going to have to put another block in, otherwise the fence won't attach to it. And I don't like things that don't conform to gravity. So as a result, this has to conform to gravity. So I've got to put in these posts, otherwise it just won't look right. It'll look like that um, balcony is just dangling off and that just won't do at all. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna remove that block. I'm gonna change that block for a grass block, which means I've gotta change that for a grass block also. And these, still won't look right otherwise. There we go. Okay, so we've got a nice balcony there that uh, actually looks really quite nice, I think. It looks good. And we're just going to build out a little rail along the balcony. So as when you all come to the balcony, you don't fall to your doom into the water. So that's quite cool. Now, we've obviously got the opportunity now to build this area up um, so as it becomes uh, a nice outside, inside area. We can get rid of this. No, we can't get rid of that, can we? Because that will be visible from the outside and we don't want to get rid of that like that so what we're going to need to do are we going to need to do anything there um what we could do there actually let's bring this as an underpin like that that works and then we can come inside that is then blocked off from the outside so it doesn't look odd the inside doesn't matter so much and then we've got a continual floor that goes to the balcony. We'll worry about, obviously, that's going to become uh, an inside versus outside area in a moment. But I do want to do something here. And I'm just trying to think how I'm going to do it. Because I'd like to somehow link up the house with the mainland. But I don't want to do it in a way that looks a little bit weird. So I wonder if we could do some kind of bridging thing that will bring out but not look too weird i'm gonna have to think about that before i do it because i'm not entirely sure but i would like to do something there definitely in the meantime however i think we need to do something with this gap um i want to create a pillar around that dormer um, which means that i also want to create more floor around the dormer What's there there and we need to match it on the other side, otherwise it just won't look right. Um, so that gives us that dormer window. And how are we going to fill that window in, I wonder? Let's get some glass. Right, so experiment time. We're going to glass this up. Like that. And then I think we're going to need to fill that in otherwise it's going to look a little bit odd um, yeah okay I'm not unhappy with that that looks okay and um, from the outside yeah it looks like just a nice glass dormer window that works really really well so on the by the same token we need to do something here because we don't want this to be entirely outside so what I'm going to do I'm actually going to fill in this wall which means I'm going to fill it in on this side as well otherwise it won't look right um, but we need to somehow create some kind of nice archway that can be closed. So we're going to come up like that on both sides, I think. Um, hang on, I'm not quite symmetrical. No, I'm not there like that. Okay, we're then going to come across there. That's good. And then we're creating ourselves 
effectively another potentially very glassy arch there aren't we so let's put some glass in there like that that can then become no that can then become uh, how does it look with steps let's see how it looks with steps first no not there there um, no I don't like it let's just put a full-on block in like that that's better actually I think that looks better so then here we can create it can just become a door um, we've got one two three that's a shame we've not got uh, an even number there which would have been quite nice to have made it a nice even door but that's all right I'm not too concerned let's stick that like that like that, that. let's get ourselves I'm very tempted to just have it open rather than uh, shut and lockable now because it's it's just too too nice a gap so and um, if we light it up we're not going to get any mobs coming in we're not going to be able to get any spiders coming in they won't be able to get in at all so it's actually secure I'm not too concerned about it so let's leave that open I'm going to get some hmm, I wonder if that would look better let's do that on both sides yeah we're going to stick that like that that looks quite nice so <clears throat> that's one end and then this other end i'm just a little bit of a loss what it is i'm going to do i am actually i need to even out the inside definitely um because this isn't even with that side and i've got a bit of a problem with it so what i'm going to do what i want i'm sorry for sucking my lips <laughs> that was a little bit weird so what i'm going to do actually i want to get some stairs underneath here i think uh, which will allow me to have a row of chests for storage along that edge there um, except not that one that's going to have to become block there because that then matches that side yeah yep that looks good but here now obviously we can put chests in underneath those steps and they'll look uh, quite nice so if we're going to just kind of go around ch chest trap chest chest trap chest a bit like that so then I think what I'm also going to do. I'll come back to that roof in a minute. I'm I'm kind of thinking out loud, and thinking out loud is not really something you want to be doing when you're making a Minecraft house. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to build just an idea, which is three, four. Does that leave me five? There we go. So this is just an idea that I'm having that may or may not work. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet. So let me get this, uh, some half slabs like that. Um, don't know yet. Let's let's keep trying. That can go like that. That can go like that. I think. Um, no. That needs to go there, that needs to go there, then that, nope, that can go like that, and that can go like that. I think that's better, that is better, and we can come there and there. So what I'm trying to achieve here is a kind of bridge effect, sort of a bridge effect, but not, that goes across um, this area, but that's going to need some fairly serious support so let me have a think and i'll be back when i have so we've started to build out what looks like a bit of a rubbish bridge at the moment but it's not going to be it's not going to be a rubbish bridge forever it's just looking a bit rubbish because we're still doing the construction bit but the challenge now is i need to get an upside down step coming the other way so i'm going to stick two blocks in there i'm going to come around there and that gives me the step that i want and then i can just come this way and put a step next to it no not like that like that there we go so that looks all right so you can see what we're just trying to do is we're just trying to emulate coming out um, this way and then obviously I can don't need to do that do I? I can just do it that way silly silly man right so then I can come under hang on I've got to think I've got to think, does that then require, yeah, so if I'm going to match it up, I've got to put one of those on, is that right, just checking it, yes it is, 
Um, or is it? Hang on. So we've got upside down step, upside down step. Right, no. That needs to come under like that. Doesn't it? Yes, it does, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so that needs to come under the step like that and then come out one. No, then the step comes out one. So again, same principle. We're going to get that step like that. And then coming up this way, we're going to connect up all the steps like that. And then bring another step down there like that. So you can see we're trying to make, does that look? So I look the same, hang on. So step, then that, then two, then that, then. Right, so no, I need to make a correction because that hasn't gone the same. It needs to be symmetrical on both sides. And then what we'll do is we'll build up this platform until it meets this area here. So I'll be back when I fix that and extended the platform. Now, I think this has kind of worked. We've got just steps and slabs that are going up there to create that nice arch bridge. And we've got kind of the port cullis effect using fence posts, supported obviously, because if we didn't use gravity, I would be offended, uh, supported with more fence posts with wooden blocks at the bottom that continues the theme of the wood post supporting the house going across the bridge. Now, what I do want to do is cover this bridge, but I don't want to do it with anything too ornate. So I'm now just deciding how we're going to do it and I think we need to maintain consistency with the rest of the house so what we're going to do is we're going to come up with basically wherever there is a no, wherever there's a fence post we're going to come across we're going to come across there like that that's going to come up over there like that that one there is going to come over there like that that'll be like that and then these obviously will have their own on the end. I might need to get rid of one or two more of these trees just in case they're in the way. I'm a little bit worried they might encroach onto the build. I'm not going to take them away yet because once they're gone, they're a lot harder to replace. But I am just a little bit concerned that they're going to be in my way. So let's come down here. That there like that. That there like that. Oh, no. That there like that. Okay, so that's the startings of the roof and I kind of want to be coming up uh, in the middle of this roof as well so if I come along there if I get rid of that that's going to go there oh, no there there we go and there come up there and there get rid of that let's do that there okay so that's kind of what we're trying to achieve that needs to come no that's not going to work then is it so that needs to come out and down get rid of that out and down. No, that's not going to work. Maybe you've got to go out and up. Oh, it's not working. There we go. So I've just got to come down there. There we go. So I've got this. I've sussed it. I've sussed it. We're coming under and up. We're coming under and up like that. So, okay. So that gives us the continual fence. Uh, it's the continual roof feeling so come under then up under and up and like that like that okay so there we go continue so i'm going to carry on get that on this side as well that looks all right i'm dead happy with that that's actually a really nice curved um edge to that um to that bridge you know what i want to do is i do want to have that like with a roof a bit like that which means that I've got to come up it's kind of up and across each time and that way I won't have to keep deleting stuff that can come out like that we've got an elevated roof now the next question we want is do we want to put that there so let me look at that from this angle and I think the answer is yes I want to put that like that that's going to come out there that's going to come out there that's going to come out there like that that's lovely that's really good I'm, I'm extremely happy with the way that's looked so let's come on 
this side as well. So we've got a really nice looking bridge now with a good roof that flows beautifully onto this platform. Now I've not closed off the platform too much so you can exit on this side, exit on this side and you can say yeah that's really really open but it's alright because we've got a little gate system and everybody knows that nasties can't cope with gates and just to add the insult to injury we've doubled up the gate so now they definitely can't get in. They can't get in at that end, they can't get in at this end. You're actually assuming that you're not on a server where actual players are going to come along and open your gates, you're going to be safe as, dare I say it, houses. In which case, you don't have to close off this area completely. But what you might want to do is you might want to just turn this into normal floor so as it flows nicely with the inside of the building. So now what we've got to do is start to build up the, the content of the house. So I'm going to put chest there, then leave a two, then I'm going to put chest there, then leave two, and that has a gap there for one chest. I'm going to put a trap chest in there and in there. Loads and loads and loads of storage. That is all the storage you're going to need on this floor. Then underneath here, we need to work out how we're going to get ourselves up to this level. We don't want something to be completely blocking in the entire doorway, um, but by the same token, we want to be able to get up to the top of the up to the top of the the, the, bed, the house. The, I can't even talk. What's the matter? My tongue has literally been removed and put in a pickle jar. That is not what anybody wants in their life. So I'm going to decide, I think, to bring it up to this level. And I'm wondering whether or not what I'll do first, I think, is I will... Hmm, I'm going to put, just to get myself moving, I'm going to stick that there. So I've got something upon which to place my step. And I'm just wondering how we're going to get this step down to the, the, the bottom floor. Because we haven't got a huge area. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to stick that under, upside down like that. Let's get ourselves descending a little bit. And we'll see where we land. I am making this up as I go along. As I've already told you on a number of occasions. So that has now come down. And we're now what? One, two, how many blocks are we? We're what, three blocks down. Now I wonder, I wonder if we should make this a, a lower floor. I wonder if we could make almost like a mezzanine level on here, like this. This might work, this might work, this might work. Right, so get a mezzanine level on here. And it is on the top of that one, so it will still look all right. And then, if we then get, I'm just going to put that like that first. And if we then get that like that, that like that, there. I'm going to have to cut myself a little hole there. Fill that in again. And then come up like that. That gives us a bit of a mezzanine that we can come up to and then go up to the top floor. I like that. So we're going to do that on the other side as well. Right in the middle. There we go in that one. So we're going to come up there. Upside down. There. Then got to destroy my floor again. Upside down like that. Put the floor back. And there. There we go. So nice mezzy level up there. And then up to the top level. So let's just fill that in a little more, I reckon to there, like that, I think that's about right, and then similarly on this side, we just want to put a little bit more floor on both sides of this step, so as it doesn't look too, um, too wobbly at the top, because the last thing you want is a wobbly set of steps. That looks alright actually, I'm quite pleased. Now, ordinarily, I probably want to go for, let's just do that like that. Ordinarily, I probably want to go for um, two wide steps. But I think in this instance, one wide kind of works. If I get rid of that, how does that look like that? If I just put that upside down on that, will that work? No, it won't. Okay, I'll put that back. I'll put that back and leave it. That's fine. So there's the downstairs internal with the steps up. So I'm sort of talking and thinking as I go. How are we going to create this top level? Let's, I don't want steps, I want a 
another level there. So we've got plenty of floor. I'm just going to stick floor there and floor there. And that is evenly open. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, if I am to put... Where's me? There it is. If I am to put this around here, does it get in the way? This is my question. I don't think it does, does it? Actually, I think we might be all right. So we're coming around this way and we're meeting in the middle like that. Now, actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get that there like that. No, that didn't work out, did it? That looks a little, I think that might be too much. I think that might be too much. Yeah, it is. It's too much. So we'll instead go for that and that. That's much better. In reality, I think that's much better. So we're going to use this mezzanine level. This is going to be a bedroom. And we'll stick a bed in there like that. And we'll stick a crafting table next to the bed like that. We are going to need some lighting in here because it is proper, proper dark. And I wonder whether, I'm just going to again test something out here. If I put torches all the way along here, does that look daft or does it look all right? I think that actually isn't too bad. And if we then put chest there, there, trap chest there and there, and do the same on this side, chest there, there, trap chest there and there. I think that's okay. Now if I was to put something there to open it, yes I can, which means I could run furnaces around the whole of the top of this floor here and they would be accessible there and there I can then stick light there there and there and there 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 and there so now if I'm down on this bottom floor I can access these furnaces dead easy okay so now we're starting to get a little bit of goodness um, I'm quite happy about that so now we just have to put more stuff down on those levels to make it a little bit more hospitable. I'll be back when I've done that. Right, so we've equipped the inside of the house fairly well. Obviously you can see we've already got all that storage there. Down here we've got a bed with an ender chest. We've got a working powered enchantment table, crafting table, more storage and some armor. Then coming down here, we've got some nice pig chars. We've got a load of furnaces that we said already. We've got item frames with our tools in, more pig chars and here, We've got the enchantment area that includes an anvil. So we've got an infinite water source that's covered up with a working chest there. You can't actually take the wrong bit of water. So you're never going to have a problem. There we go. So that is the inside of the house all sorted out. But what we've not done is tooled up the outside of the house. And I'd much rather do that. So we've got um, the opportunity to put some stuff on some of these window seals. We have to put something on every one because that might be a little bit of overkill but i probably will anyway because i can it's my house design if you don't want to well that's entirely up to you but i think i quite like it now i'm not putting that there put that there like that i'm going to put that we're very into our poppies at the moment there we go something's going to happen there in a minute don't you panic i need to do that and what we're also going to do is we're going to get some wooden trap doors on either side of the windows Irrelevant of the size of the windows, we're just putting one in. We come around this way, and we put one there. That caters for both. That goes there. And come around this side, one there, and one there. So you can see that actually makes for quite a nice uh, look for the windows of the house. It just adds that little bit more detail that wasn't there before, and I think it looks quite nice. But what we've not got is any additional detail outside of this area so what i do want to do where's me where's me wooden block have i lost me wooden block so i'm going to get some oak wood and i just here i'm going to create this here and we're going to go what, one two three on this one here we're going to pull it out one more okay and then we're going to do same here that's going to go there and then the equivalent is, it's so dark down here. So that's going to come up like that. Okay, yeah, we're happy with that. Then 
we're going to get our oak dewberry hoof up and we're going to create a platform that comes out from this back garden no nope, not there I'm going to remove these two bits here just turn those into four blocks just these ones here and then we're going to come along just in a nice straight line like that there we go so now we've got ourselves a jetty and then we can get rid of kind of random blocks here and we can get a nice gravel path that can go there like that and that so there we go so gravel path out to the jetty and i know that they do despawn but where's the boat let's stick a spruce boat in there because we can and we'll stick a nice spruce boat there and then i just need some oak wood stairs which are there get rid of the boat and we're just going to stick some oak wood stairs not there like that it's, that's just not what i'm after at all so stick stick there like that and like that I can then go up there because I need to replace that again in a minute. So that can go. Oh, the boat's in the way. All right, we'll get rid of the boat just for now. Then we've got that there, that there, and then we're going to get a boat back like that. And the boat can go at the end. There we go. So we've got a boat at the end of our jetty that we're going to light up there, 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 and there. So that's the back of the house. Let's just put. We're all about the poppies on this house, so I'm just going to stick some extra poppies here, here and here, just to make it a little more homely. And I think that looks not too bad. Uh, I'm not going to put any additional bits and pieces at the front of the house because I don't think it's necessary. But what I do want to do is I want to try and make it look like the house is a little bit more part of the landscape rather than this hill being just a lump next to it. So I'm going to get rid of some of this sand here and I'm going to turn it into dirt and I'm going to see if I can't make it look like it is part of the landscape so basically what I'm going to do I'm just going to get rid of all of this sand here to start with to the back then I'm going to get dirt and I'm going to basically try and merge the house with the landscape a little bit I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work, being brutally honest here. It might not work at all, I might have to just take it all out and give it up as a bad job, frankly. But it might look quite nice if the land just kind of absorbs into the, into the house to make it look like it's just part of the landscape a little bit more. So I'm just trying to fill it in. I don't want to do it too much, just enough. It's kind of random, but not. You don't want any bits that clearly don't look right. So that would be like that. Probably want that like that there. Um, get rid of that. It's going to come up kind of just under the roof, I guess, isn't it? That's, that's probably about right. It sort of works, doesn't it? It sort of works. It's just going a little bit see if we can't get it to work even better if it comes under that stair area that's also fine actually that looks all right that looks okay i'm pleased with the way that's worked that's worked quite well and then we could actually we could actually do something a little bit clever now couldn't we, we could create just a nice little um landscape feature here if we are clever but it may or may not work shall we see if it works let's try and make it work hmm this might not work it's, it's worth a shot because it might look really quite nice but it might not work so what i'm going to do i'm going to try and create here a natural spring if I stick a bucket of water there that's going to go down there like that and it does it joins up with that that's all right okay so now we can 
rocky that up just a little bit with some cobble and some smooth stone to make it look like it looks a little bit more like a, a natural spring there and there there I've stopped talking again because I'm concentrating there like that and we can shove a bit of cobble in randomly because um, I think that would look quite nice back here as well it's going to actually become part of it isn't it like that and then get some there and there and then we can incorporate some add a sign to that as well there and there how's that how's that look that looks oh i've ended up under the bridge how's that look that looks all right that looks all right i'm just gonna just complete this up a little bit here as well so i think that needs filling up a bit more but all in all that's not too bad that's not too shabby I like it there we go it's quite a straight line it's, it's a little too straight for my liking if I'm honest but that's all right that's okay so what we can now do is we can get some sugar canes whack some sugar canes in uh, around here here so what we're going to do, we're just going to put that there and there. Put the sugar canes there and there. And they can grow up nicely. I reckon. How does that look? That's okay. I think we've done a decent job there. So the house kind of juts up against the outside of that mountain. We've got a nice little spring rolling in there. It's a little bit too straight, but that's okay. You can have a fiddle with it if you want to. So all I really want to do now is just a little bit more detail on this roof and kind of filling in this edge bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself, where's my stone brick? There's my stone brick. So I'm going to get the stone brick here and I'm going to create here and here, I'm going to create a chimney effect like that. It's also got to come out from here and here as well. So it's quite a tall chimney effect, have that like that and then we're going to just swap the odd block to make it look a little bit more interesting, like that um, and there. Okay so, so there we go, we've got quite an interesting looking uh, rooftop chimney there, I just need to get some cobblestone wall, stick that like that and another one like that. So that makes the chimney. And then the only thing we need to do now, I thought that was a creeper in there, it's my armor. Uh, the only thing we need to do now is do something with this entrance, because it is too big right now. It's definitely, definitely too big. So what I think I might do is I might use the effect we get with the oak wood to create a kind of a doorway that is gonna be there free high come in at one, three height like that, um, and then come across there and there. Yeah, that looks all right. And then we're gonna come get some spruce wood there, 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 and there, just to block up that end so as it is continuous. And then what we can do here, in exactly the same way as we did across the other side, we can get a nice, glass gabled end one two three there one two three and one and then the rest can be filled up with not like that with spruce there there and there there and there so we've got a completed and filled in edge of the house on that side as well as we do on that side so i reckon that's looking okay i would like to just detail that up a little bit more because that's a little bit not nice enough for me so I'm going to try doing this with oak wood and see if it works under there like that how does that look that looks all right I'm all right with that so let's come on this side and we're going to do exactly the same I'm going to come down I'm going to oak wood across 
like that. That gives for a nice detail. I don't think we need to oak wood there, do we? Because we've already got the pitch of the roof meeting it up very nicely. So all we really need to do now is just add a little bit more detail and then we'll be done. And I think we are done. We put just the tiniest little bit of extra detail with some ladders on that stone. It breaks the stone up nicely, but doesn't lose the stone because you can see through the ladders, which is really nice. But it looks a bit like a trellis. We've put some climbing ivy up the wall, uh, the, the sides of the walls there. It just looks quite nice to have that breaking up the brown, but again, still being able to see the brown through that green, which is really, really nice. And I think actually it looks pretty good. I hope that um, you like this. This is your seed. I hope that you like it. If you've enjoyed uh, the way I put it together, then feel free to get that done in your own world. Come and have a look at the, um, the seed number and go and have a look for it yourself. But Anch Harsh, I hope that that answers your question as to what I would do with this location in your seed. And if you want to have a go at it, go for your life. And if you want to do something slightly different, that's all right too. If you have enjoyed this video, please do make sure you slap the like button. It would be great to see how many likes we can get on the video. And then I'll keep doing this kind of thing. Perhaps you've got some interesting seeds and spawn areas that you'd like to have a crack at. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It would be great to see you in my sub club. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.